I am Chairman of the Professor of the Department of Computer Science. Already we have seen about the internal memory. Today we are going to see the external memory and what are the types of external memory. In those aspects we are going to see magnetic disk. What is a magnetic disk? Now a magnetic disk is a circular plater which is constructed of a non-magnetic material which is coated with a magnetizable material which is an iron, iron oxide or etc. etc. And the substrate which is coated is an aluminium or aluminium alloy material. Since the aluminium or the alloy material is not better in resisting the shock or the damage, they have used the glass substrate instead of the aluminium where it provides a uniformity, it provides reliability, it also it reduces suspect defects and also it reduces read and write errors. Next, how the read and write mechanism takes place. Now, some, in some magnetic fields, there is a read and write headers available separately. But normally, it is, which is normally we have, we are using are the, 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 uh, in the, the magnetic disk, it is read and write mechanism are done by the same header. The header consists of a, a coil where in write, when writing the data, when the electricity passes through that coil, it produces magnetic field. That magnetic field is sent as a pulses to the head where the data is recorded in the surface below. How the record, how the data will be recorded below means the magnetic pattern has north and south. So when the current passes through the coil, when it provides, when the coil produces a magnetic field, the north poles are uh, transformed to two south poles. So the data will be recorded in the surface. Whereas the read, when the magnetic field or when the current passes through the coil, it produces an electric current that provides uh, that when the surface, uh, when the surface of the disk passes under the head, it generates a current of same polarity, same electricity polarity as what already recorded. So the read and write mechanism takes place in the magnetic case. This is the uh, diagram in which or the structure of the header. Next, how the data is organized in a disk. The data are organized in a disk as tracks and each track is divided into sectors. It might contain fixed or, or variable in length of data storage space in the, each tracks. Now, there are the this disk data layout where the, the, the S represents the sectors and the, the, the circular path pro, uh, represents the tracks. So each track is divided into sectors and Disk layout, but the, the, the layout has, it, it has two layouts. The first one is the constant angular velocity where each track, each, each sector has divided as equal space, but in, but sometimes it provides or it has a basis of space in the outer tracks. So that is why they have used the MZ or that is the multiple zone recording where it increases capacity and each zone has a fixed width per tracks and it is more complex circuitry than the constant angular velocity. Physical characteristic is as, as I already told, the fixer is very bad, but mobile, which is the most easier thing and what is, which is uh, most uh, less expensive than the fixer one. And it has a, 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 a head mechanism of con, um, uh, floppy, fixer gap, etc. Et it, it might consist of singular or multiple factors. For this example, of a head mechanism, or you can say a floppy disk, where it is very cheaper compared to the magnetic disk or something like that. And it can hold up to 3.4 mm data. And it is not secure enough. That is why they have moved from floppy disk, but very comfortable, very, 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 very useful in those states. And uh, thank you so much. And if you have any queries, kindly.